Respected viewers, brothers and sisters in Islam, once again, Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Welcome to another live episode of Lighten Our Night with me, your host, Ahmed Ali. Now, yesterday we did introduce our very special guest, uh, Sayyid, uh, Sayyid Ali Fadl. Uh, I wish. Are you a Sayyid? No. You're not Sayyid? I wish. Okay. Well, Ali Fadl, who has joined us tonight uh, to lighten up our night. Uh, and uh, we'll kick it off with a couple of questions. Bismillah ar Allah How are you doing? Ahmed. How's things? Uh, you alright? Uh, well, we talked about that yesterday, bro. Yani, how still, are you yeah, doing? Nice are you be... hot? No, but is, like, is the weather good? It's 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 fine. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Forty alaykum. degrees. How we talked you? about how's it yesterday. How's things? You alright? <laughs> introduction. Straight into the game. <laughs> No, the viewers love the games. I got some good feedback, by the way, regarding yesterday. Yeah? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Alhamdulillah. Yeah. So I'm uh, right. looking forward to that's beating you again. That's <clears throat> yesterday was a tie. Come on, okay. bro. Uh, anyways, yeah. uh, so this show is dedicated towards knowing stuff about you. Right. Stuff about the guest. Yes, it's tough, yeah. Now, it happens to be Ali Father. Right. All right? Okay. Now, for knowing about you, a lot of people know you as a reciter. Yesterday we talked about yeah. behind the scenes of Ali Fadl, who is Ali Fadl, behind all the productions. Yeah. Uh, now, uh, yesterday you talked about 10 years to 12 years of being in this uh, yep. not business. Yeah. <laughs> in this business. Uh, so, <laughs> it's not a business, <laughs> just, just to correct everyone. <laughs> <laughs> but okay. <laughs> in in this industry. Please, please. please. Service. Yeah. Service. Yeah. Ah, Allah. <laughs> service. To Abu Abdullah yeah. al I like that. Yeah. <laughs> Anyways. But uh, hey, remember we talked about yesterday integrating with society and, every, and, and, uh -huh. and getting them to understand our principles. Mm -hmm. Yeah, for them, let's just say it's the, it's the recitation business. So AKA the business. Hey, the, non, the non Muslims can understand what it's, what it's like. Uh huh. Hey. But it's, now the fact it's a that service. you had to defend all of that <laughs> this uh, says something. But anyways, <laughs> we'll leave that for Everything I say is under <laughs> scrutiny. So, <laughs> yeah. Khosh, uh, now the, the first question that I want to ask is: ten to twelve years, have you ever been criticized, and how many? Uh, yes. Yeah. Yeah. If uh, yeah, I have been criticized a couple of times for mm -hmm. the work. The, the only reason why people criticize is because something is out of the norm. Mm -hmm. uh, and when it comes to change, uh -huh. people are very skeptical because they like the way things are. If yeah. you say they have to change, they have to get out of their comfort zone. When yeah. you get someone out of their comfort zone, uh, it's uncomfortable. Mm -hmm. And by the time they realize, oh, actually, it's not that bad, then it becomes part of their comfort zone. So a couple of years back, about five years ago, um, me and a couple of brothers, um, we really had an interest in propagating the message of um, Imam Hussein, mm -hmm. the message of Islam, especially during Muharram. Um, to the non-Muslims and to the wider audiences. And we touched about this yesterday, about um, uh, utilizing the West and the East and their melodies to try and bring mm -hmm. something new and different in, in terms of recitations yes. uh, and the Sha'a'ir of Imam Hussain Now, everyone is accustomed to their own culture. So the Iraqis are used to their own Latmiyat and it, it, it's what they do, it's what their culture yeah. is, it's what their rituals are, fine. The, the Indo-Pak community, the Iranian community, the Afghan community, the Khaja community, the Pakistani community, everyone has their own communities in, and what their, their norm is yeah. and what their comfortable is, or what they're comfortable with, right? So what I did, um, no one was really accustomed to Western songs. Mm -hmm. They weren't really accustomed to uh, Western songs being uh, or, or the name of Imam Hussain Salam being being sung in a way which is oh this sounds like a song right uh -huh. or this sounds like oh this has some music in it for example yeah right? so I I um, I sought uh, I sought the I sought the uh, the scholars and I and I spoke to the scholars as I asked them you know what can and what what can't be done um, in terms of the Islamic law uh, and in terms of um, what's right and what's wrong and jurisprudentially, right? So, mm -hmm. and I, ca I came up with uh, a track. Is that your phone? No, it's not actually. My, my okay. phone's here. All right, yeah. yeah. Sorry to cut you off. Yeah, go ahead. I can hear a, a vibration. Yeah. Yeah. So I, I, um, I came up with a track. Yeah. The track isn't your, so usually within, within, uh, within Muharram and especially Latmiyat, the poem is always describing the tragedy, mm. right? So describing how Imam Hussein salam fell or how, how Abbas salam went to the river or how Qasim um, came to his mother and said, mm. I, you know, I want to help my, it's all about describing the actual tragedy itself. There's nothing to actually speak about um, 
how would I say it's uh, self-development all right so something that people can relate to remember I said yesterday as well where there are certain terms that the non-Muslims are just not aware of. They yes. don't really know what Karbala is. Yes. They don't really know who Imam Hussein is. They don't really know who, uh, what, what tragedy is and what battle took place centuries and centuries ago. They don't yeah. really care. Mm -hmm. okay? But what they do care is about common values which are shared between us as yes. humans. Right? Yes. So they, they, sh they share values such as hope. Um, freedom, sacrifice, yeah. right? These kind of stuff. So what I do is I utilize these values that are, are common between us as Muslims and non-Muslims, and I came up with a track. The track was to be um, to be on the safe side, very different to the norm. Mm -hmm. Okay, I called it higher, and it's about utilizing Imam Hussein's message to ascend yourself to mm -hmm. higher echelons uh, mm -hmm. and to, to really uh, try and connect with your Lord through Imam Hussein. Salam. Mm -hmm. So the criticism was, oh, this sounds like a song, or this is like music, and blah, 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 blah. And it, 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 the majority of the feedback that I got was very positive. It's like, mm -hmm. oh, this is actually great because now our, our young children uh, our young children can connect with Imam Hussein through this, mm. or the non-Muslims can connect with Imam Hussein through this. So it, it received some positive uh, feedback. Mm -hmm. um, but the criticism was, was that basically, oh, this, the, this is different to what we're used to, and this is haram, and so on and so forth. That was probably the, moment, mm -hmm. the only criticism that I, that I faced. The only criticism you got. Yeah. Um, now, yesterday we did talk about mixing rap uh, oh, yeah. with, you know, religious songs. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Uh, now, to continue that discussion, in higher, mm. you mixed in some stuff. We yeah. can't, we can't deny that. Yeah. So why was it okay to mix some stuff with that, but not okay for rap to mix in with? Uh, okay. So number one, I haven't, I didn't say that rap is is not okay to mix. Uh, so I'm, I'm always, always on the firm believer mm -hmm. that anyone who wants to utilize their, in their own, own way, in perfect. their own way, go ahead. Yeah. yeah. So I, even if someone wants to come up with a rap song mm -hmm. um, about Imam Hussein, then um, by all means, yeah. it, 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 every scholar is different when it comes to their own interpretation of what is allowed and what is not allowed. Yeah. Okay. So when it comes to what's halal and what's haram, the man I just say, you know what? I've taught you the basics. I've told you what's right and what's wrong. Yeah. Okay. It's now up to you to use your own logic and say, okay, from from what the maraja have told me, from the framework that they give, they can't. The maraja, the scholars can't go through every single case and every single song and say, yep, yeah, this one's haram. Next, yep, yeah, this <laughs> one's halal. Yep, yeah. they can't do that. Yeah. So they give you a guideline, a yeah. framework, and say, you know what? If it takes you away from Allah subhanahu wa taala, or if it puts you into sin, or if it reminds you of a place or a person that you're not supposed to be remembering, then yes, it falls under the category of haram. However, if, for example, it takes you towards Imam Hussein yeah. or it doesn't remind you of Ahl al-Fusuq or it doesn't remind you of a club or a, or a disco or anything like that, then it's absolutely fine. So they're giving Perfect. me the framework. So I've used that framework and I said, okay, no problem. So the Maraja, mm -hmm. I've said one, two and three. And then, you, you know, we, uh, mm -hmm. we, uh, you know, we can utilize uh, the, that. I've, I've utilized their, uh, their frameworks and I've made it to my, to my benefit. Now, mm -hmm. when it comes to rap, like I said, because rap is so out of the norm and because rap has such a bad connotation, then people are automatically saying, you know what, I don't want anything to do with that. Because it has such a bad connotation. Mm -hmm. But, like I said, if it's the audience that the rappers are rapping towards or the rapping for, that audience, if one or two or three or four or five people can say, you know what, that sounds great. And what is this Hussein that you talk about? Yeah. What's this sacrifice that you talk about? If they come towards the religion, then, then who am I or you or anyone else to say that's wrong? Definitely. Do you understand? Know so that's, that's what I... In a mm. nutshell, yeah. all right. In a nutshell. But by the way, this is this is this is a discussion which I've had over and over and over again with mm -hmm. lots of people, and I and I don't mind having this discussion. I love these kind of discussions because it, it really brings out people who really question themselves, mm -hmm. and they question. Okay, so Manaj, I said this, but the, I, I'd love for people to really question what they believe in because yeah. the only way you can reach certainty is if you ask questions. You ask question, you mm -hmm. get an answer. You ask question, you get an answer. Get a, until you reach some sort of certainty mm -hmm. in your life. Perfect. Uh, now. I th did I did I ask you yesterday? Would you ever rap or no? Would I ever rap? Yeah. Okay. No. No. Well, I, I have a secret. You have a secret. Yeah, I have a secret. What's your secret? Okay. So, um, in one of my tracks uh -huh. about the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam. Okay. Yes, it's it's a, it's a secret. No longer, but yeah. Yeah, no longer a secret. <laughs> yeah. But I mean, it, it's not a secret because it's out in the public. It's on YouTube. Anyone wants to find so it. So why do you say a secret? 
Well, because between me and you, it's like, oh, you, have you ever rapped? I'm like, oh, hold on. I, <laughs> I haven't personally rapped. Okay. I haven't personally rapped. Have but you tried? the track, no. No? No, not really. I'm not, I, I, look, everyone's associated with their own culture. I don't know how to. It's like if you ask someone Come to, on. if you ask someone to do the piano, I don't have to do anything piano. Yeah. Like, I don't know how to do it. Or if you ask someone to write a book, I don't have to write a book. Yeah. Or someone, I don't know how to do these things. It's not part of my culture. I've never, I've never not had to use the skills. Right, Rapping right. is a skill. I mean, it's an art to be able to utilize those words in such mm -hmm. a way where it comes out so fast mm -hmm. and so profoundly, it hits straight away. I mean, yeah. it's, it's an, look, at the end of the day, it's an artistic form. It's an it artistic is. expression. Mm -hmm. Um, so this track, it's it's about the prophet, and what? Uh, so there's there's what stanza. So a stanza is a beat basically. You know how the qasida has a beat, yeah. which beat basically. So this, the first stanza is is just me reciting. The second stanza is me reciting, and then the third stanza is actually someone else rapping about the prophet and about the love for the prophet and the ahl al bayt salam. And then it links back into the chorus. Mm -hmm. So if anyone wants to now, is this rapping to a beat? No, no, it's just, it's, it's called freestyle. Freestyle? So there's, there's no actually, there's nice. no musical instruments in there, it's mm. just freestyle. But because again, because it sounds different, it's like, oh wow, like this is, mm. this is different. Like, I don't want anything to do with this because it's different. Yeah. But actually, if you really just uncover, just uncover what, what exactly it is, people will find, you know what, that actually, this doesn't really, like, like, okay, if you actually uncover what it is, so rapping is just speaking very fast, let's just be honest, Yanni. Yeah, is that really so bad? We don't know. It's a question you have to ask yourself. Like, uh -huh. I don't know about the framework no, of the malajia yeah. and so on and so forth. That's, yeah. Look, at the end of the day, I'm not here to, to preach and say, this is halal, this is haram. It's all down to the scholars. Whatever mm -hmm. the scholars will say, then follow it by all means. Mm -hmm. But question, at the end of the day, you're allowed to question. And then the, the scholars will openly say, yeah, question me. Why not? Mm -hmm. Even Mama Ali said, question me before you leave me. So just, just tell me. Like, if there's something on your mind, question, let's, let's discuss. Okay. So we can find some sort of certainty. All right. Now I'll 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 do ask you. Please do if, before we do lose you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> uh, but uh, now yeah. Ali Fadl in no. his spare time. Quickly. Yeah. Ali Fadl in his spare time. Okay. What do you do? Well, I'm I'm very much a, a family man. Uh, back in mm -hmm. London, I work nine to five, okay. Monday to Friday. What do you What, what do you um, work? So I'm a, a, a business development executive. Uh -huh. um, yeah, I work in sales. In, in short, marketing? Uh, no. So the, we have a data. Yeah. So there's a. I, I sell data to um, food companies. Oh. In a nutshell, yeah. It's oh. it's it's much more deeper than that. But okay. it's it's a uh, it's a nice job. It's it it's utilizing m mm. my passion in a no, sense. No, but that. That's your job. That's I my mean job. Spare time. Ah, okay. Spare time. Spare time. Like I said, uh, so I'm very much a family man. So mm -hmm. I, uh, I'm. Any I kids? always, not yet. Mm -hmm. um, there is actually one on the way. Uh -huh. Yeah, and this is the first time I've actually released it okay, live on, so on TV. Live on Imam Hussein Three TV. Yeah. Ali Fadl is getting a child, boy or girl. Inshallah, it's gonna be a boy. Mashallah. His name is Hussein. Uh, uh -huh. Inshallah. Um, in the next couple of months, so pray for me um, that it works out all well and, and the baby is healthy, inshallah. Mm. Um, so yeah, so in my spare time, I, I, I love to visit my family. So I, I live a couple of minutes away from my parents uh, and my in-laws as well. So I, I, I like to go out and spend time with them. And, and because the thing is, being, being the elder brother, uh, I want to take an active role in my family's life. Mm -hmm. Just because I've left the household doesn't mean I've actually left the family. Mm -hmm. um, I, I love to you know, find out what my mom is doing, what my father is doing, what my brother is doing. He's in, he's in a pivotal age, he's like 15 now, so mm -hmm. he's reaching adolescence. I want to be a friend to him at the same time, discipline. It's, it's, it's very much uh, a difficult time. And I've got younger sisters and nieces mm -hmm. and nephews, so I love spending time with the family yeah. as much as I can because I want to be connected with them okay. uh, as much as I can, rather mm -hmm. than um, you know, just be concentrating on work and career. Family for me, family values is is very important. The the Ahlul mm -hmm. have always spoken about it, and, and that's what I'd like to. Perfect. Like to do. Yeah. Other Perfect. than that, I try to play football, soccer, but I've had um, two knee injuries in the last couple uh -huh. of years. Yeah. Have you heard of an ACL injury? No. Yeah. So a lot of basketball players actually get this injury because because basketball players are very agile. They they rely a lot on their knees, um, so they they rely a lot on their knees. So with their knees, <laughs> sorry, I just. I just <laughs> <laughs> Someone Why would you say that? Yeah, I'm so sorry. Um, because by the way, guys, we we, we, we have, have earpieces, and, uh, pieces and we get uh, the pieces of information. Some, yeah. yeah, we get pieces of information sent to us through our ears, and the manager just said that. <laughs> uh, okay, yeah. so um, so with these ACL injuries, uh, I have to have surgery to. Okay, so the ACL is. Anyway. Anyways, uh, yeah, so, so yes, um, this actually okay. speaking of parts, uh, if you were if you had the chance or the choice to change one 
part in your body. To change one part of my body? One my part. My knees. Please. No, well, not, not your knees. Yeah, wallah, wallah. Something else. No. Everything else, alhamdulillah, shukr. La atarada bi amrullah. It's fine. <laughs> I'm going to give you my honest answer. If you want. <laughs> Anyways, you just ruined the game. Anyways. <laughs> Anyway. Yeah, sorry, this one, I, I, I'm not gonna, yeah, I'm not gonna. <laughs> By the way, in sales, in sales, in sales, <laughs> exactly. What, what kind of response are you looking for? Anyway, in sales, there's a, there's a, there's a well, way. We I mean, what kind of response Le -le, can make up anything? Once I was in sales, there's, there's, a, there's a thing that we have, in, part of the skills that we learn, is when we're asking questions, uh, we, we, it's leading questions to an answer that you know that they're gonna answer. So, in saying that, for example, you could have asked, um, aside from your knees, what other body position or, bo or body um, uh, feature mm. or anything would you have liked to change? Nice. That way it's eliminated my knees because I'm, I just told you I'm very passionate about my knees because I, I, play, I want to play Great. soccer and the reason I can't play soccer is because of my knees. Great. Are you done? Are you done? Yeah, alhamdulillah. <laughs> yeah, well done. Let's go to inserts. Let's, uh, let's go to quick inserts before we jump into uh, our games. Fun and games. And, and, and see I look what Ali Fadl has in store for us. So we'll be back shortly. آمده آن دل رو با نور چشم مصطفا چشم حق روشن شده عالمی گلشن شده یا حسین و یا حسین یا حسین و یا حسین یا حسین و یا حسین ای نبی را نور یا حسین و یا حسین یا حسین و یا حسین Welcome back, respected viewers. Um, now, this part, the second part of tonight's show, uh, is a game. Now, uh, yesterday we also had the second part of, of the show, uh, Try Not to Laugh, right. where each participant will have to say a joke and. Oh my. Then, wow, okay, anyways. So, one of us has to say a joke. And if, I, if Ali Father says a joke and I laugh, he gets a point and vice versa. So, mm. rock, paper, scissors to see who, uh, who goes first. Starts, yeah. Did you get your jokes ready? Yeah. All right, good. One second, one second. Yeah. All right. Rock. rock. No. Oh, see, see, yesterday you started first too. Anyways, go ahead. Yalla. Rock, rock paper, paper, scissors. scissors. Right, wow. Well, the first? Yeah. Out of three? I have six eyes. Two mouths and three ears, what am I? You have, you have six eyes? By the way, I've just noticed something. Anyways. You've sent me this. So you know the answers. I've sent you, but not looking at it. Huh? So I can send you something, but not looking at okay, it. Okay, cool. I'm, I'm going on, on that, that Yeah, and if, that, if, that if that I've sent you it, <laughs> I, would, I would lose. No, but, yeah, exactly. If you send to me, you've seen the answers, but you've already, the, the joke has already hit you, and then this is like second time. But yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll go ahead. Say no the problem. joke. If Sorry, I laugh, say, say, okay, afu, afu, afu. then you I know have, it's not me. Afu, afu, yalla, okay. I have six eyes, two mouths, and three ears. What am I? Fish. I'm ugly. <laughs> yes. Are you? Yes, I got it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, wow. One now. You laugh. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. Okay, so one yeah. point. All right, yeah. It's my turn. Um, do you like golf? Not really. Do you know anything about golf? Yes. Okay, good. Now, why do golfers wear two pants instead of one? Two. In the UK, you call it trousers. Ha, huh, trousers, yeah, yeah. Trousers. Yeah, yeah. They wear two trousers? Well, yeah. Why? I don't know why. Yeah. Why? Why? Just in case they get a hole in one. That's not funny. Anyways, go ahead. Okay. So what kind of, pics, what kind of pictures uh, do turtles take? Oh. Shelfies. <laughs> Shelfies, <laughs> two nil. <laughs> yeah. Wow. Uh, okay, now, uh, teacher, anyone who thinks he's stupid may stand up. The teacher is saying this. Nobody stands up. I'm sure there are some stupid students out here. 
in the class. Now, little Johnny stands up. The teacher says, oh, Johnny, you think you're stupid? Little Johnny says, no, I just feel bad that you're standing alone. How come? That's, that's not funny. It was all right. That's it was, not funny. It, it tickled me a bit, but not really funny. You know what I mean? Um, uh, so on which wow. yeah, sorry, on which side of on, on which side do chickens have the most feathers? Right? I don't know. The outside. Huh. Oh, I got a bit of a, a sniggle there, but yalla. No? Okay, go ahead. No. Why did the painting go to jail? Why did the painting go to jail? I don't know. Because it was framed. Okay. Can I how come he's getting all the good I'm jokes? Sure. Why can't why can't a nose be twelve inches? I should have picked that page. <laughs> Why can't a nose be 12 inches long? Why? Because it'll be a foot. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah, it's three nil. All right. This is bad. Yeah. This is bad. <laughs> What's going on? Anyways, okay. now it's my turn? Yep. What did she say to him? I don't know what did she say to him. Catch me on side, how about that? <laughs> <laughs> I can't believe you used that. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Three one. Uh, when I see couples' names carved in a tree, I don't think it's cute. Uh, I just think it's a crazy how many people bring knives on a date. Oh wow. Yeah. It's actually weird. Like, have you seen those films in the movies where they yeah. see like names and then there's a heart around it? How do they yeah. carve it? And like, are they carrying knives? It's, yeah, that's not funny. Anyways, yeah. No. Um, knock, knock. Who's that? These. 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 Oh. Oh. <laughs> are you going to go there? You la he laughed. <laughs> he laughed. <laughs> you see? <laughs> okay, just finish it off, please. There you go. Uh, what is, these. The, these what? These what? Have you? It's these who? I, Wait, okay, I'll, I'll tell you off air if I, if I, okay. Anyway, I lost, sorry, 3-2. No, you won. Yeah, I know, I, I, I lost that one, but I won overall. Okay, so yeah. good. You had a kind of a comeback, but it was a bit too late. Yeah. See, I don't know why he got the good jokes, but anyways, um, well, we will go to a short break. Yeah. And, uh, you know, just to refresh up uh, the energy with the inserts of the Holy Shrines. Yeah. And we'll be back shortly to see what Ali Fadl has to offer but in a different way. So we'll be back shortly. Welcome back to the viewers of Imam Hussein TV to our nightly show, Lights Our Nights. That's a bit of a tongue twister, to be it honest is. with you. Yeah. Light Our Nights uh, with myself and my co-host, Ahmed Ali, uh, my dear friend, um, Ahmed Ali, and he'll take it away from here. Habibi. Now, this game uh, is called the Jinx Challenge. Okay. Now, we've chosen titles, yeah. and we have to get the most Jinx. Yeah, and we have to say the same name okay. in that category. All right. If we guess it right, then we have a jinx. If we don't, then we don't have a jinx. Khalas. All right? Okay. Now, so this is like a team game? Huh? This is like a team game now? Yeah. yeah. We have to work together. So we have to work together now? Yeah. Oh, okay. All right? Okay. Now, Imams. A film with Imams in it? No, no, no. Just any name, any Imam 
We have to guess. Huh? Okay, okay, okay. This, 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 the same one. We have Fine. to say it out loud. All right, all right. The same time. Yalla. Three, two, two one. Ali. Same. Oh, what a <laughs> <laughs> All right, you have, we have three chances. Okay, okay. Huh? Three, two, one. Same. Abbas. <laughs> oh, I can't say the same thing. I'm so sorry. You okay, can't. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, I can't say the same thing. Abbas not Imam. All right, I can't say the same thing. You can't say the same thing. All right, cool. All right. Three, two, one. Come. Mahdi. Chava. <laughs> Right, we have one last, last chance. One. Huh? Three, wait, 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 let me try and read your mind. Okay. Three, two, two one. Hazad. Ah, oh, sorry. I thought I, I thought it was gonna go the 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 the, the sinister, but okay, fine. We went for the sharp one. All right, that's that's fine. Let's do another one. Anyways, yeah. Planets. Three, two, one. Mars. Earth. Oh, we're in Earth. Oh, so so. Okay, okay. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. Three, Three two. One. Jupiter. Mercury. All right, we'll get this I was one. about to say Jupiter. All right, we'll get this one. All right. Uh, wait, wait, let me... Okay, yeah. All right, all right. Okay. With the U. Three... La, la, la. <laughs> <laughs> Please don't. <laughs> Anything but that one. All right. I don't know why I just forgot the planet. Three, two, one. Venus. Jupiter. You just said Jupiter. Oh, you said it. I said Jupiter. I can't repeat Jupiter again, can I? It's the same thing with the Hussein oh. thing. Yeah. yeah. By the way, uh, uh, just for the viewers out there who are studying, what is it? Science? You said Jupiter. Yeah, I said Jupiter already. Just for the just for the young viewers out there who are studying, um, I think science, right? Oh yeah, science. planets and all that. Yeah. yeah. So there's an easy way to remember the to the to to, the, to remember the planets, and it's Mavenj Sump. Mavenj Sump. Mavenj Sump. All right. So it's what's the year? That's a good look. So it's. Mavenge, so Mercury, uh -huh. Venus, Earth, Mars, Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, uh, some uh, Neptune, Pluto. But obviously Pluto, Pluto is not. Pluto is not, yeah. is not, Pluto is not involved. But yeah, yeah. Right. So nice. Yeah. Okay, good. Hosh, animals, animals. Three, two, one. Lion. Tiger. Ah, oh, that was close. <laughs> that was close. Right, again. Okay, okay. Three, Three. two. One cat. cat. Yeah, <laughs> we actually got it. Oh we got it. <laughs> that was amazing. That was brilliant. Hush. Okay, we do one more. Video games. Video games. Okay. Three, two, one. FIFA. Call of Duty. So I was gonna go FIFA. Okay. So we can't. So this now we can't do Call of Duty. We can't do FIFA. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know any of the video games. Um, Marvel. Okay. Okay. Cool. Whatever. Yeah, yeah, I'm not gonna give. But yeah. yeah. Uh, three, two. One. Metal, Metal Gear Solid. I don't, well, I, I'm, I'm really not good with video games. Yeah, like. Anyways, we'll okay. go to this one. Yeah. Superheroes. That's good. Yeah. You know a lot of them. All right. I hope you do. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Three, two, one. Superman. Superman. <laughs> yeah, so that was close. <laughs> <laughs> that was close. <laughs> uh, All right. Three, okay. two, three. one. Iron, Iron Man. Man. <laughs> yes. We got it. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> All, right. All right. Last two. Okay. Holidays. What? Destinations? Holidays, holidays. Oh, oh, in seasons in the in the calendar year. You know, holidays like Christmas. Hey, that, that's like seasons eight. in the calendar year. Like okay, Thanksgiving. Okay, okay. So we can't say Thanksgiving. We can't say Christmas. Okay, good. Yeah. What are? There's plenty more. Yes, yeah, but yeah. That's not a holiday. <laughs> okay, go on. <laughs> All right, uh, three, two, one. Easter. Easter. Oh, you want for the Muslim <laughs> one? I want the Christian one. <laughs> Easter? Yeah. Who says Zim. Easter? Um, <laughs> yeah. I think of another season. Anyways, months. Okay. All right. Months. Yeah. Three, two, one. May. May. I feel, yeah. See? Great minds think alike. That's brilliant. Another one. Another one. Oh, what, another month? A year. A year? A year. A year? Yeah, this could be 2017 years. Oh, you have to choose a year. Yeah. You have okay. three chances. All right. Three, two, one. 1993. Oh, you were born in 1993. <laughs> I'm born in 1993. <laughs> I don't know that. <laughs> All right, let's go another one. Three, two, one. 1998. 2017, yeah. Okay. Next one, I like that. Next one? one? Yeah. Hosh, type of food. Type of food? Mm. Arabic or English? Well, I don't care. No, but it could be like Arabic to English. English, yeah? English. All right, cool. Three, two, one. Pizza. Burger. Ah. ah, okay. okay. All right. Three, two, one. Fries. Why did you say? <laughs> <laughs> what did you say? 
I don't know. I just paused. He didn't say anything. Okay. All right, another one. Three, two, one. Shawarma. <laughs> why did you say I went blank. <laughs> I went blank as well. You asked me why so I didn't I, say anything. I actually went blank because I forgot the names. The famous athlete. Famous athlete. Famous athlete. Yeah, yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> what sport did you play, Bala? <laughs> yeah, Allah. Basketball. <laughs> Basketball, yeah, yeah, yeah. I play. He's very tall. Famous athlete, okay. All right. Three, okay. two, one. LeBron Ronaldo. James. I was going to go for a basketball player. I thought you didn't be interested. Ronaldo, not the new one, the old one. Oh, the old one. Brazilian Ronaldo. Okay. Yeah. All right. All right. Huh? What is it? Huh? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Three, two, two one. Kobe, Kobe Bryant. Bryant. <laughs> 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 we actually cheated on that. Yeah, one. I'm sorry. Uh, we but anyways, one, yeah. uh, we have come to an end. All right. All right. We can continue that tomorrow. Uh, we have a malfunction uh, going on, so tomorrow we can fix it yeah. to see how really uh, how good you know your uh, the countries. All right. Cool. And just see how many times you travel. Fine. All right, but Fine. that will be for tomorrow. Now, um, this part is over. Yeah, I'm gonna hand it over to Ali Fadl, yeah. who uh, will take you around spiritually. Yeah, around the holy shrines and uh, change up the atmosphere, make yeah. it more lit, hopefully. Yeah, uh, and uh, to lighten up your night even more. Inshallah. Uh, inshallah. So, Ali. Yeah, so um, just uh, as, as Ahmed was saying, I'm just going to give you some insights into the spirituality of the month of Sha'ban and, um, uh, and Imam Hussein Salam and Abu Abbas. Um, and of course, we're going to give the platform to you so that now this is your chance for now this is your chance for you as the viewers to pledge your allegiances to Imam Hussein Salam, to send in your comments, your suggestions, your du'as, your supplications, your requests, anything that you want, please do send it on onto the Facebook channel. Um, it's Imam Hussein 3 TV. You can search it on Facebook. We are actually live on Facebook as well, um, as well as any other media platform that you can find myself on. Uh, it's it's um, uh, Ali Fadl on Twitter or or on Instagram or, or on Facebook as well. So please do send in your, your comments and your suggestions as well. Uh, other than that, hopefully, like I said yesterday, we're going to be um, trying to um, uh, increase the, the, the joyous atmosphere by having live recitations, literally live recitations um, on set as well so that you can join in back at home to hopefully bring the spirit and joy of the month of Sha'ban and the land of Karbala to your homes wherever you may be around the globe. So we'll see you in a couple of minutes. Abu Fadil, hala الله ابو فاضل الله ضحك حتى نهر بجسم الله هل للابد ما تعوفه علي ما على شفو هلا للابد ما تعوفه علي ما على شفو ابو فاضل هل شايل الله ابو فاضل هل شايل الله الله للأبد ما تعوفه علي ما على شفو هلا 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 للأبد ما تعوفه علي ما على شفو فأبو فا هلا شاهين الراية أبو فا من هلا شا الله شار بيها حيل تشبه شار انت راية العباس سبع القنطرة شار بيها حيل تشبه شار انت أثر شف معنى عصف راية راية العباس تموت على العباس قد ما حبته واللي يشمها كان يشم من ريحته راية ايه تموت على العنباز قد ما حنبته تموت على العنباز قد ما حنبته تموت على العنباز قد ما حنبته واللي يشم كان يشم من ريحته نعم على السما من يعليها نعم على السما من يعليها يغطي هالشمس من يهزبي الله هل لحظة مو ملفوفة علي ما على شفوفة لحظة مو ملفوفة علي ما على شفوفة أبو فاضل هل شايل الرأي أبو فاضل هل شايل 
ابو فاضل هالشان الله الله للابد ما تعوفه علم على شفوفه للابد ما تعوفه علم على شفوف ابو فاضل هالشاهين يا حلاة الراية بجفوف القمار راية العظم يا حلاة الراية بجفوف القمار وعن توقف كل من عليها نظار راية صدق لون الراية معروف بخضار لكن بالكلفات تتبدل حمار راية إيه هلا هلا صدق لون الراية معروف بخضر صدق لون الراية معروف بخضر لكن بالكلفة تتبدل حمار أبو فاضل لو أنت غضب عيونه تصير من الغضب راية مجنونة أبو فاضل لو أنت غضب عيونه تصير من الغضب راية مجنون الله هل هي أم الخوفة علم على شفوفة هي أم الخوفة علم على شفوفة أبو فاضل هل شايف فعيدك للابد ما تعوفه على ابو فاضل هلا شايل Welcome back, dear respected viewers of Imam Hussein TV3, the English side or the English channel, uh, the English category of the Imam Hussein Media Group, let's just say. Um, the English department, sorry, the, the words just totally missed my mind. Uh, the English department of the Imam Hussein Media Group. Um, you are watching Light My Nights, um, coming to you live from the holy city of Karbala during the month of Sha'ban. Light our nights, lights, yeah, light our nights, that's what I said. Yeah, light our nights, um, the special show upon which we try to get out of the norm uh, and to celebrate the births of Imam Hussein alayhi salam, Imam al-Sajjad and Abdul Fadl al-Abbas. And to complete our celebration, it will be um, the birth of Imam Mahdi, our awaited savior, Ajallahu ta'ala farajahu sharif So, before the break, we had my dear uh, and esteemed co-host Ahmed Ali where, again, just to give you an insight regarding the programs, we are celebrating the births of these immaculate Imams. So we're trying to really give a joyous uh, and humorous atmosphere so that people can enjoy themselves in bringing you uh, the, the positive atmosphere, the positive energy that is live here in Karbala to your homes across the globe. Um, so this part of the show is again to you, the dear viewer of the, uh, of the channel. You must be sitting there um, watching the show thinking, I wish I can be here in Karbala uh, for this holy month. And I, I, I like just looking at the streets itself, I mean, I, I've, my direct view is the shrine of Abdul Fadl Abbas alayhi salam, literally lit up with lights. Um, there's there's th lights that are green and yellow and red and pink, literally to, 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 to state to the world that we are celebrating the births of these immaculate personalities associated with Islam. And you must be sitting there thinking, oh, I've been there for Arba'een and I've been there for Muharram. Muharram and Arba'een has a totally, totally different vibe and different atmosphere to the month of Sha'ban. Um, personally, I went out in the streets today, like I promised, um, and I asked a couple, of, a couple of people, a couple of the citizens, um, you know, what, what, what do they uh, feel or what, how do they really prepare for the month of Sha'ban? And so we, we, we spoke to, um, I, I personally spoke to a, a shopkeeper just close to the streets of um, uh, the, the shrine of Abad Fadl Abbas alayhi salam. Uh, and he was telling me that this month is not only a month of celebration, but it is a month that we prepare for Ramadan. Um, so we, we tend to like to um, uh, connect with our families because Ramadan is, is a time of, of family values. That it, so they, 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 they try to spend as much time with their own families. But when it comes to serving the visitors of Muhammad they have 
what's called the, the little stands outside of their homes or even outside of their shops. So the same way in Muharram you'd have people giving out food um, or, or providing shelter. Within the month of Sha'ban people are giving out sweets, like they're giving out candy to people, um, they're giving out a um, box of drinks as well. Um, so that's, and of course they're all wearing bright colors like white and yellow um, to signify that they are indeed celebrating the births of these, these Immaculate Imams. Not only that, I've literally just heard what's called a halhula, um, I think. It's, yeah, so a halhula is, is like a, um, a cry when it comes to the Iraqis and celebrations. So, and it's, it's, yeah, it's actually quite weird to, 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 to hear it, but hey, you're in Iraq and you're in Karbala, so people are actually enjoying themselves. There, there's, there's, there's congregations where instead of lamentations and people um, performing uh, latum or anything like that, people are actually clapping and they're singing together. So it's, uh, it's a beautiful atmosphere uh, here in Karbala. The numbers aren't so much, and like I said, the numbers usually tend to increase when it comes to the night of Friday. Um, not only that, but when it comes to the actual birth of Imam Mahdi, Ajallah Ta'ala Faraj Sharif, there is a uh, a major spiritual aspect of that birth when it comes to a'mal and um, performing certain deeds and of course it is highly highly recommended to perform the ziyarah of Imam Hussein alayhi salam. So like I said we have opened the platform to you all um, to send in your requests and like I said you, you're sitting there you must be thinking I would love to come at least if you can't make it here in Karbala send in your messages it is gonna I'm I am your mouthpiece we are your mouth, the channel is your mouthpiece to be able to deliver your messages to Imam Hussain and Abdul Fadl Abbas. So, um, carrying on from yesterday's, um, shou uh, the yesterday's comments and, and uh, uh, the supplications and the du'as, um, I'll go through a, a number of different uh, messages from our dear respective viewers. So, uh, we'll start with uh, Ruksana Hashim who says, Labbaiki ya Aba Salih al Mahdi, Ajallahu ta'ala faraju al Sharif. Um, Shaq Ibrahim says, please convey salams to our master Aba Abdullah al Hussein and his commander in chief Abil Fadl Abbas. Duas for all Mu'mineen first and request to call his servant from Switzerland with his family and all the Mu'mineen who desire to make his ziyarah. Jazakallah and shukran to Imam Hussein. Oh, he actually says, Jazakallah and thanks to Imam Hussein TV for this special program to give us this opportunity to make du'as. Du'as uh, for all of the marid. Um, Shaq Ibrahim from Switzerland. By the way, that was absolute coincidence. Um, I didn't know that this message was going to be here, but this is exactly the reason why I'm giving you the platform or we are giving you the platform to be able to convey your messages for this main reason. He is literally saying thank you to the, to the channel um, for the special program to give them the opportunity to make du'as. Huma Nazarian says, Salams, please don't forget us in your prayers. Shana Momin says, if you could please pray for my mother. Uh, Adr Abbas says, Iltimas, uh, Iltimas says Surah Fatiha for my father, late Sayyid Mihar Akhtar Zaidi, son of late Sayyid Muhammad Sabtain Zaidi and Shuhada, the martyrs of uh, the Ja'fariya all over the world. Health prayers for my mother and all Mu'mineen and Mu'minat who are ill. Salam bro, you are very inspiring and I love what you do. Oh, so that was uh, Minhal Ja'far. Uh, Jamila Mruwa says, Salam Ya Aba Abdullah, please fulfill my hajat and provide a home for my family so we don't become homeless. Uh, more messages uh, coming through, um, if I can just, this was yesterday, yep, so there's more messages coming through, oh, I've just lost the page, um, but anyway, I think we can go to a small break and then I can get these messages back on, um, and then we'll hopefully have some recitations and some poetry as well, so hopefully we'll see you after the break. Ya Abba 
Welcome back, dear viewers of Imam Hussein TV 3. Um, coming to you live from the holy city of Karbala. You are watching Light Our Nights. Yeah. But yeah, Light Our Nights. Um, exclusively live on Imam Hussein TV with myself and my co host Ahmed Ali. Um, there are many visitors from, uh, for uh, visitors of Abba Abdullah Al Hussein. And these visitors. They come in different shapes and sizes and different forms as well. His Eminence Sayyid Sadiq al-Shirazi, he writes in his uh, Sharih, uh, his explanation of Dua Makaram al-Akhlaq by Imam al-Sajjad. And there is a certain part where it mentions um, what it means to be a wali and the different connotations of being a wali. And because there's something which I've noticed personally and, and a lot of people have noticed and, and people's relationships with each other when it comes to actually visiting Imam Hussain During the month of Arba'een or during the month of, uh, of Safar and during the time of Arba'een and, and especially in, in Muharram the visitors are of different forms and different cultures and different backgrounds. When they do come and I, I, I underestimate the numbers here are amazing. There are so many people crammed into such a small place that inevitably people, their ten, the tensions may rise in terms of how they react with one another. But generally speaking, generally speaking, the visitors and their re interactions with each other is always peaceful, always friendly because they understand that you know, it, it could be squashed at times and there's sometimes not pla no, no places to move and it's very difficult to maneuver, your, maneuver from one area to the other. So sometimes you do get different altercations where people are impatient in terms of trying to reach a certain destination because it's difficult to get around. So in his, uh, in Sayyid Sarah Shirazi, in his um, explanation of Dua Makaram Akhlaq, there is a certain part where it mentions Wali and the different connotations of Wali. So he says that there are different social levels. In the first social level, you have what's called a Sahib, a Rafiq or a Zameel. So a sahib is someone essentially who is uh, an acquaintance. Uh, a zameel is someone who you work with or you have certain interactions with, maybe business interactions or, or, uh, or a colleague, for example. And you have a rafiq who is, again, along the lines of um, uh, an, an acquaintance or someone that you may know. That's the first social level. And they have their own, um, they have their own ways of interacting with each other. The second social level, and he mentions actually before that, he mentions a story and he says, is it so that a brother can come to a, 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 another, another brother or a friend and put his hand into his bag and, the, and that person has, uh, has any, uh, they say, has, has any uh, objections towards it. So if if, if I was to come to a friend of mine and I was to put, let's just say he had a bag of money or a bag uh, of personal belongings and I was to put my hand into that belongings, will that person have any objections or no? Say so says, if he does have objections, then this person is only on the first level of social uh, interaction. Only on the first level. He's an acquaintance or a colleague uh, or even a companion. However, if he is your friend and truly your friend, then he becomes part of the second level of interaction. And that second level of social interaction is literally called a friend, a sadiq. And this is, this is where most of the visitors of Abu Abdullah Hussein really fall into. And, the, and, and then he says the third level is what's really called a wali. Because a wali is not just a friend, but a, a person who has ilhar al-hub, who, who reveals his love, who reveals his peaceful nature towards another person, reciprocally ach achieving that love as well. That is the third 
level of social interaction uh, upon which the, the sharah of, of, of the wali part comes. And this is what we try to aspire to when we bring it back to Imam Hussain What we try to aspire to as the visitors of Imam Hussain is to become a wali to one another. And a wali to one another is to not only show your love and not only to show you, but receiving that love as well. And using that example, if I was to be able to put my hand into uh, the bag of a person belonging of another friend, will he have any objections? Because I have total trust in that person. The person who's, who's, who's infringing, let's just say, on my person belongings, I have so much trust in him. That's the kind of level of social interaction which we aspire to achieve. And that's, especially when it comes to the visit of Muhammad that's the type of level that we have reached. Not just a sadiq, an acquaintance, or not just a rafiq who I've just joined in a travel with, or not just a colleague or a companion, but we are achieving or we are aspiring to be walis of another. Yes, walis of another is what we are aspiring to be. And that's just a short insight. Um, into his eminence, Sayyid Sadah Shirazi's um, explanation of dua, makaram al akhlaq. We'll have many more insights, inshallah, in the, in, the, in the upcoming nights. And hopefully, now for the next part, uh, we'll take a short break. And when we come back, we'll have some recitations to hopefully liven up your nights and bring light into your homes and light my nights or light our nights, as the program is called. So I'll see you after the break. say that the group of Imam Hussein channel which represented between few years ago and they approve that the Islamic uh, issues and the Islamic uh, and the Muslims are here and I hope that the group of Imam Hussein channels will make variety of some uh, topics and some series maybe uh, take some kids and make uh, some series which belong to the daily issues like uh, the uh, daily problems of Islamic uh, laws. For example, the daily issues that face uh, a follower uh, according to Salah. For example, if the uh, follower he has a doubt between the first rak'ah and the second rak'ah, what shall he we do? In such case, if they do it uh, as a series or as uh, one show, that will be acceptable, acceptable from other people. And nowadays, we found that the Wahhabism, I'm sorry to say that, but the Wahhabism, they separate and they give to others bad uh, view or bad uh, things about Islam while Islam has good things everything is good in Islam but unluckily the people who are speaking in English who re represent the Shia people they are so little and they don't have the, that big opportunity to talk with others so through your channel I hope that you will make variety of programs and these programs, insha'Allah, will separate 
the uh, sects of Ahlul Bayt alayhim afdal salatu wa salam in all the words. That's all my mission because you know that the European people at doomsday they will debate, they will make a, they will, uh, make a debate, they will say that you know English but you didn't transfer Imam Sadiq's uh, quotes, Imam Sadiq knowledge to us. So they have what they have hujja against us. So please, what I'm asking all the responsible guys from uh, Imam Hussein channels is to support such uh, programs and to make variety and to create a new people like young people who can uh, present uh, programs in English. That's all what I have and thank you very much to give me this opportunity to talk in this channel. Thank you very much. Uh, Mam Hussein TV السلام, is a channel currently projecting all around the world. They're in a like, um, number of different streams. They're in the English stream and of course they've got the Arabic and Farsi. Fantastic channel doing a lot to um, spread the message of Shia Islam around the world and we're trying to encourage and support their work. Um, currently they're on the, the live streams on the satellite channels um, and they have a range of different programs um, from lectures to speeches, from eulogies obviously commemorating the tragedies of Ahl Bayt and at the same time celebrating the births of our Imams. Um, great channel, great projects, uh, we're trying to encourage and support it as we go along. Um, please help support this cause um, with your donations, with your support and of course um, with your du'as. Thank you. Welcome back, dear viewers of Imam Hussein TV 3 to our uh, uh, nightly program, Light Our Nights, exclusively live from the holy city of Karbala. Um, I hope you have enjoyed the show. We are trying to mix both fun and joy and spirituality um, in the show so to keep you captivated and to show you the live scenes, um, to show you the atmosphere of the lands of Karbala. Um, coming to you live from Karbala to your homes to bring joy uh, and spirituality to your homes ar across the globe uh, as well. We've heard and I've read out a couple of messages coming to us from people all around the world sending in their allegiances, their pledges, their requests and their supplications um, to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala through the greatness of Imam Hussain and Abil Fadl al-Abbas. In this part of the last segment of this show, um, I promised we're going to be doing some recitations. And what I would love to do is uh, to really get your interaction as well. So whilst you're sitting at home watching the show, or it could be your mobile, um, uh, you, you, you could be moving around or whatever it may be, please do join in with your voices and also um, with your clapping as well. So if you'd like to sit back and clap as well, that'd be great. Obviously, I can't hear it, but I'm, what I'm going to be promising to do is to follow a rhythm so that you can follow it as well. Uh, and inshallah, we'll start with a loud salawat ala Muhammad wa ala Muhammad. Allahumma salli ala Muhammad wa ala Muhammad. Just as the seven skies, just as the seven skies with the horizon are bound, we are bound to Hussein and with him our heads we crowned if the skies fall toward earth then catches it the ground and in the beauty of the skies hussein's name we found we caught him when he fell and there was no farewell not by death by our hearts taken hussein an immortal revolution Hussein in the tears that we've cried Hussein had never died in the tears that we've cried Hussein had never died an immortal revolution of Abdullah Hussein an immortal revolution of Abdullah Hussein of Abdullah Hussein just as the same 
even skies with the horizon are bound we are bound to Hussein and with him our heads we crowned if the skies fall toward earth then catches it the ground and in the beauty of the skies Hussein's name we found we caught him when we fell and there was no farewell not by death by our hearts taken Abu Abdullah Hussein not by death by our hearts taken Abu Abdullah Hussein Abu Abdullah Hussein artists draw beauty with beauty and beauty appears when I draw the name of Hussein I draw it with tears and yet this beauty can create the greatest of fears when a tyrant upon the legend of Hussein peers in his calamity Hussein blossom beauty in his calamity Hussein blossom beauty a rose that leaves tyrants shaken of Abdullah Hussein a rose that leaves tyrants shaken of Abdullah Hussein Hussein conquers hearts in fact he conquers everything Hussein conquers hearts in fact he conquers everything the heaven saw Hussein and it made Hussein its king on a scale nothing's like him bring me anything on a scale nothing's like him bring me anything bring me a mountain of gold and Hussein I will bring bring me a mountain of gold and Hussein I will bring no one knows of his worth his murder shook the earth no one knows of his worth his murder shook the earth for him the Lord's throne would open Abu Abdullah Hussein for him the Lord's throne was open Abu Abdullah Hussein no one reached immortality but to him it bends no one reached immortality but to him it bends and heaven must be earned but for Hussein it descends and heaven must be earned but for Hussein it descends all that rises falls but Hussein forever ascends all that rises falls but Hussein forever ascends every story ends but Hussein's tale never ends every story ends but Hussein's tale never ends he changed all that we know he changed all that we know testifies tears that flow the sun to which we do awaken of Abdullah Hussein the sun to which we do awaken of Abdullah Hussein of Abdullah Hussein Dillah Hussein's for you, Abba Abdullah Hussein. They say there's a flame in our hearts. No, it's not just that. They say. <coughs> keep it going, keep it going. Mashallah, mashallah, mashallah. I'm, and this is, this, is, this is absolutely live, yeah? They said there's a flame in our hearts. No, it's not a flame, a fire that engulfs all oppression. It became Hussein's love is a pride, and proudly with it we came. Hussein's love is a pride, and proudly with it we came. And burnt tyrants to ashes with love that brought them shame. And burnt tyrants to ashes with love that brought them shame when Hussein's flag flutters when Hussein's flag flutters all tyranny flutters all tyranny flutters evil falls when his name spoken of Abdullah Hussein evil falls when his name spoken of Abdullah Hussein of Abdullah Hussein of Abdullah but la Hussein, Abu Abdullah Hussein, 
Hussein bends the scale of what's possible and fair Only Hussein can be killed and yet bring them despair When they die they don't just die Hussein burns out there The veins of tyrants from there Next Hussein's hand would tear Every tyrant fears him His murder challenged them In his eyes there and is written of Abdullah Hussein in his eyes there and is written of Abdullah Hussein of Abdullah of Abdullah of Abdullah Hussein's immortal as the tears we cry testify Hussein's immortal as the tears we cry testify Revolutions are born with each teardrop that we cry And if any demand we stop what do we reply And if any demand we stop what do we reply He taught us no humiliation we'd rather die he taught us no humiliation we'd rather die revolution he taught revolution he taught to us freedom he brought to us freedom he brought and we want the world to listen of Abdullah Hussein and we want the world to listen of Abdullah Hussein of Abdullah of Abdullah Hussein Abba Abdullah Hussein Hussein's immortal as the tears we cry testify Revolutions are born with each teardrop that we cry And if we need demand we stop what do we reply He taught us no humiliation we'd rather die He taught us no humiliation we'd rather die Revolution he taught it was freedom he brought revolution Revolution he taught to us freedom he brought and we want the world to listen of Abdullah Hussein and we want the world to listen of Abdullah Hussein Many thanks um, for participating and, and I thank my two live audience guests for partaking within the recitations here live in the studio. I'm very much indebted to them and their energy, their positive energy, which I was talking about. And this is the, really, this is the reason why we wanted to really bring you some joy, this positive energy. I hope that it has transpired towards you and it has transferred towards you, the watching at home. You may be laughing, thinking, oh, this is so weird, whoa, whoa, whoa. But hey, if it's brought a smile to your face, that's our job done. And that is exactly what we are bringing to you here. A smile to your faces as we celebrate the month of Sha'ban. Many more, hopefully, that you will be seeing in the next couple of nights. I'll hopefully have more guests um, and more uh, uh, people to help me out, more than just the two. We'll hopefully create a nice atmosphere here in the office so that I can possibly, you know, come out a bit more and then try and interact with the audience uh, and give you almost an insight into how I would be able to recite um, in the different audiences around the world, which I do. And so hopefully uh, we will be able to see you tomorrow. And one last surprise is I have a bouquet of flowers that was just passed to me um, in celebration of the birth of Imam Hussein, Imam Sajjad, and Abdul Fadl Abbas. Many thanks for watching. We'll see you tomorrow, same time, 11 p.m. Karbala, 9 p.m. London, and 4 p.m. Washington, D.C. I hope you've enjoyed the show. See you tomorrow. Ma'asalaamu.